Hi folks, it's Becky and welcome back to Mountain Glen Farm. It's August 5th, 2021 today. Just finished moving the girls here into our cool season perennial stand. And even though it is August 5th and it's probably about 85 degrees out here at the moment, it's the middle of summertime, it's hot, it's been humid. Um, last week we were in the upper 90s for the majority of the week, which was pretty warm for here in Virginia. Um, we're still able to get out here into our cool seasons and do some grazing. As you can see, there's also lots of Johnson grass that's come in and our girls definitely love to graze the Johnson grass as well. But just to give you a little deeper look-see into what they're grazing, we've got some orchard grass and again to give you a little bit of a, she's kind of already grazed some of this, but it's probably hit, hits up to about my knee. Um, the taller parts. We've got some alfalfa. This definitely is beyond my knee so it's um, done really well in this little spot here and as you can see it's it's gone to flower and uh, has definitely put in put up a lot of uh, growth. We did come in here and uh, hay this 20 acres. This stand here is about 20 acres um, of cool season pasture mix and we did come in in May and make hay um, because we always want to put away just a little hay for um, high quality hay for our, our yearlings and our wean calves in winter time to help them through that process just enough to get them through and so we usually always hay this at least one time a year but then graze it two or three times a year as well so it's a very productive 20 acres and um, yeah we really just enjoy it and as you can see spin you around here the girls are loving the Johnson grass that's usually one of the first things that they graze when they get in here among other things like weeds like she was just nibbling on there I don't some type of lantern plant she was nibbling on um, but the girls really love it and what I like about this field is that it used to be 40 acre crop ground so when we bought the farm five years ago it was um, used for corn for probably 20 plus years and so when we bought it we decided to put it into this cool season perennial mix which has done very very well for us hey girly and um, over the years the Johnson grass has come in by itself um, a little more every year so I think the way that we're grazing it with the rotation is promoting this Johnson grass which is fine by us because when we mow it for hay in in May the Johnson grass has not come up yet and then as it starts into its next recovery period, which is what growth you see now, the Johnson grass really takes off because of those warm weather temperatures. And um, it makes for a really nice balanced field where there's cool season in here and warm season. So it's worked out very well for us. And the next field we're actually gonna go into after we graze this is our native warm season grass stand that we established five years ago as well. So it's um, big blue, little blue, and Indian grass in that field. And what's interesting about that field is over the course of the five years, um, a lot of cool seasons have naturally established themselves into that field as well. So not only are the natives in there that come up during the summertime, but there's a lot of red clover in there as well, which um, makes it another diversity for when we go in there and graze it. So it's it's funny that the native warm season grass stand, the cool seasons have come in, and in our cool season stand, um, the the Johnson grass, the warm seasons have come in there. So it's kind of done this really nice balancing act, which makes it very awesome to graze. The girls love it, and uh, it kind of gives us a little more resilience in our pasture. So it's really cool how that works out, and I'm glad that it has. So that's what we're doing here at Mountain Glen Farm, um, August 5th, 2021. And I hope you guys are having fun and doing great on your farms as well. Happy grazing.